now we're looking at question four. Question four is asking us which equation is best represented by the graph. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and look at my answer choices. And I notice, well, they are all in slope intercept form. Okay, so they are all in that y equals mx plus b. So I'm going to see if I find my slope and I find my y intercept. So the first thing I notice about my slope is my slope is negative. So I'm going to go back to my answer choices. I need a slope that is negative. Remember, slope is attached to our x in slope intercept form. So let's see, a slope is positive, so I know a is not it. B slope is negative, that could be. C slope is negative, well, that could be. D, nope, slope is positive. So now I've already eliminated two of my answer choices. Looking at the answer choice B and C again, I notice they both have the same slope, but what is different is the y-intercept. One has a y-intercept of negative three, one has a y-intercept of positive three. So I'm gonna go back up to my graph. Remember y-intercept is where does it cross the y-axis. Y-axis is here. Here I'm at negative three, so I'm looking for an equation of a line that has a slope of negative one, a negative and a y-intercept of negative three. And lo and behold, here is my answer as C.